Hey traders, it's Sean Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 12th of November to the 16th of November 2018. As always, we're going to start off with the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. We're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also for the weeks ahead. So let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, starting with the US dollar index, now we start the week above the key area of broken resistance from the past a turning support already at the 96.07 if we can get a pullback into this area and preferably if we can get another pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at 96.07 this is going to be the preferable place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance the upside in the target set the 97.80 and if we get a break through here we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and target two of 98.46. As you can see, going into next week, we are looking for further advances in the US dollar index. So this means that we do generally have a bullish bias on the US dollar going into next week. So next market we're going to look at is crude oil. Now crude oil has been declining for quite a while and we've been short on this for quite a while and nothing really changes on this going into next week. We're still looking to take shorts to the downside on this market. And as we start the week below, a key area of broken supports from the past looking to turn resistance at 62.66 if we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at 62.66 this is going to be a great place to start once again to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set the 58.52 and if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside and target two at the 57.10. So the next pair we're going to look at is the euro dollar. Now we start the week below key area of broken support from the past looking to turn resistance already has turned resistance once, twice, three times you could say over here. If we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at the 1.14375. This is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 1.1214. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in target two at the 1.1119. So next pair we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now we start the week below a key area of broken support from the past, looking to turn resistance at the 1.30190. If we can get a pullback, and if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 1.2667. And if we can get a break through here, We'll be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside and target two, at the 1.2588. Now, when we have targets that are this close together for those people who are watching the video for the first time, generally it's hard to trade between here. So we just consider this as a more conservative target and a more aggressive target. And you can decide depending on your own risk appetite, which one you prefer the best. So next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now, as we start the week above the key area of broken resistance looking to turn support at the 113.334 if we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 113.334 this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in the target set at the 114.50 and if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in target two at the 115.45 so the next pair we're going to look at is Aussie dollar. Now we start the week above key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at 0 0.71071. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance, turning support at 0 0.71071, this is going to be a place we can start to look for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be considering initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in the target set. The 0 0.7313 and if we can get a break through here 
we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and target two, at the 0 0.7346. Now, again, when we have them this close together, we just consider this really as one target, and we can consider this as more of a conservative target here at the 7313, and this as more of an aggressive target at the 0 0.7346. Why do we consider it in this case? just as a conservative and an aggressive target, well, because there's very little room to actually trade between them. The other interesting thing to note is that we are looking for further advances overall in the Aussie dollar, but we have a strong dollar. We have a bullish bias on the US dollar next week. So what this means is we may find if the dollar is strong next week, in term, I'm talking about the US dollar, then we may find that actually as the dollar rises, that's what causes this pullback in the Aussie dollar and we just end up with this big pullback next week in the Aussie dollar towards 0 0.71070 and then perhaps the week after we start to get these moves to the upside. So next we're going to look at is the New Zealand dollar. Now we start the week above key area of broken resistance from the past looking to turn support 0 0.66837. If we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support 0 0.66837, this is going to be a place we can start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be potentially looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance, the upside and the target set. The 0 0.6825 and if we get a break through here we're going to be looking up towards the next gear resistance the upside and target two at the 0 0.6852 so once again we'll be considering this just as a conservative target and this as a more aggressive target and very similar to the aussie dollar because recently we've seen money coming into the higher yielding currencies with what's been going on in the stock market, etc. We have actually seen a strength in the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar. So although we're looking for strength in the US dollar next week, although we have a bullish bias on the US dollar, the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar have both been stronger than the dollar recently. So even though the dollar is strong, the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar are also strong. So we will be looking tentatively for further advances in these. However, there is a chance that the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar struggle next week, so we may be better off looking at the other dollar pairs in this forecast. So the next we're going to look at is the US dollar Swiss franc. Now we start the week above the key area of broken resistance, looking to turn support from the past at the 1.00215. If we can get a pullback, and if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance, turning support at the 1.00215, this is going to be a place where we're going to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and target one, the 1 1.0098. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the second key of resistance, the upside and target two, the 1.0170. So next we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now we start the week above key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 1.31639. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance, turning support at the 1.31639, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance, the upside and the target set the 1.3287. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and target two, the 1.3377. Uh, last but not least, we have gold. Now we start the week below the key area of broken support from the past, looking to turn resistance at the 1217.25. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support, turning resistance at the 1217.25, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set of the 1192.50. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target two of the 1181.80. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. A big thank you to everybody who does that on a regular basis. And a big thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel so far. I want to wish you all a nice weekend. I hope you'll have a fantastic week next week. The only thing for me to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.